In this video, I'm going to show you how you can hide an item. So for example, if you have an item you are selling, it's no longer available and you don't want your customers to order it online, you can actually hide it from the Clover device itself. So all you do is you go to the inventory app. It may be up here, it may be somewhere down here. Just find it. Once you find it, just click on it. And all you do is find the item. You can search for it by within the category. So let's say it's in the beverages category. I click on it. And let's suppose I am out of stock of water bottles or water. All I do is I click on this button right here and then press save. And then give it about one minute to five minutes and it'll be uh, hidden from the website. So again, make sure it takes about three to five minutes, uh, between one to five minutes actually, to make it hidden from the website. And then that item will no longer be available. And let's suppose a week later or the next day or later in the afternoon, you have the water back in stock. All you do is you click on it again, and then you do this, and then you press save, just like that. Okay, again, you can do it from the categories by searching the category, or you can search for it by the item. So for example, if I wanna search for water, I can just type in water. So, um, oh yeah, this is actually a good thing that just came up. Make sure if you have two of those items and they're spelled the same, like this one has capital letters and lowercase letters, that you are hiding both or make sure you hide the correct one, okay? Uh, sometimes you may have an item in multiple categories or you may have a different spelling of each name. So make sure you hide the correct item. So let's say I wanna hide the one with the capital W, I mean capital letters. All I do is do that and that's it. And then give it about, uh, again, uh, up to five minutes, around five minutes or so, and it will disappear from the website. If you do it as we speak and somebody's attempting to order it, they will still be able to make the order because they're already in the process. So uh, keep in mind that it's not immediate. It takes about five minutes for it to reflect on your order online page. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day.